In this video, we are going over how to add fractions with like denominators. So before we get into the adding fractions part, first let's go over numerators and denominators. So if we have a fraction here, 5 eighths, we're going to examine the numerator and the denominator of this fraction. So let's start with the numerator. And the numerator is going to be the top part of the fraction. And what it represents is how many parts of the fraction are occupied or filled. So the denominator, on the other hand, is going to be the bottom part of the fraction. And what the denominator represents is how many total equal parts the fraction is divided up into. So let's look at a visual representation of this fraction 5 eighths. Let's start with the denominator. So the 8 here, the denominator, represents there's going to be 8 equally split up parts of this fraction. And so if we count that out, there's going to be 8 even sections right there. And then the five, the numerator, means there's going to be five of these eight spots are filled in. So that is what the numerator and denominator represents in fractions. And now let's learn how to add them if the denominators are like, which also just means another way of saying they're the same denominator. And we're going to do this in a four-step process. So the first step is you're going to check the denominators and make sure that they are actually the same. The second step is that you're going to add the numerators together. The third step is you're going to keep the denominator the same. And then fourth is you're going to simplify the fraction if you need to. So again, that's only if you need to if it's not fully simplified already. We're going to start off doing two sevenths. And here's a visual representation of two sevenths plus four sevenths. And here's a visual of four sevenths. We're going to figure out what this equals using that four step process. So the first thing we're going to do is check and make sure the denominators are actually the same. And these are both 7, so we can move on to step 2. Step 2 is we're going to add the numerators across the top. So 2 plus 4 is going to give us 6. And then our third step is we're just going to keep the denominator the same. So again, we've been using 7 as the denominator, so we're going to keep that the same. So now we have our answer 6 sevenths, and we just got to go to step 4. Is this fully simplified? 6 and 7 share no common multiple, so this is fully simplified. So we have 2 sevenths plus 4 sevenths equals 6 sevenths, and there is a visual representation of 6 sevenths. So we're going to do a few more examples without the visual representation. We're just going to focus on the numbers here. So we're going to have 7 fifteenths plus 3 fifteenths, and we're going to figure out what that equals. So first step, check and make sure the denominators are the same. They are. So now we can go to step 2, add the numerators across the top. 7 plus 3 is going to give us 10. And then third step is we're going to just keep the denominators the same. It's going to be 15. And then fourth step, is this fully simplified? 10 fifteenths is not the fully simplified version of this fraction. So we can actually find a common multiple of 5 between 10 and 15. So we're going to divide both of them by 5 to simplify. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. And 15 divided by 5 is 3. And so now this is fully simplified because there are no common multiples. They're both prime numbers of 2 and 3. Let's do another example. We're going to go 9 over 42 plus 26 over 42. And let's do our steps. Denominators are the same. Add the numerators across the top. 9 plus 26 is 35. Denominator will stay the same here as 42. Is this simplified? No, it is not. They both, 35 and 42, share a common multiple of 7. So we're going to divide them both by 7. 35 divided by 7 is 5. And 42 divided by 7 is 6. So 5, 6 is a fully simplified version of this fraction. Let's do one more here for more practice. We're going to do 4 ninths plus 10 ninths. So we're just going to follow the same process. The denominators are the same. Add the numerators across the top. 4 plus 10 is 14. We'll keep the denominator the same as 9. And is this simplified? So these two numbers do not share any common multiples. However, when the numerator is larger than the denominator, you can create a mixed number where you have a whole number and then a fraction on the side. So to do that, you have to figure out how many times the denominator goes into the numerator. So 9 goes into 14 just one time. So that's going to be our whole number. And then we still have to go five more units before we hit 14. So five is going to be the numerator, and then the denominator will just stay the same as nine. So this would be a fully simplified version, but you can rewrite this either as an improper fraction where the numerator is more than the denominator, or you can write it as a mixed number with a whole number on the side and a fraction next to it. So Let's review real quick. So the first thing we learned was the difference between the numerator and the denominator. 
The second thing we learned was the four-step process to add fractions with like denominators. The third thing we learned was how to simplify fractions if we need to. And the last thing we learned was how to simplify improper fractions into mixed numbers if we need to. If you enjoyed this video and you're interested in learning more about TurtleEd, visit us more at www.withturtleed.com.